All right, Mia, you a bit hot, love, eh? Uh -huh. That sounds like a Harley. Sounds like a Harley, honey. It is a Harley. It's the most expensive Harley in the world. Hi, Dan. Hello, buddy. How are you? Yeah, good. Wow, you're out on the uh, big boy. Bigger <laughs> out. Yeah. Um. Just for the sake of people who don't know what a bagger is, you know, we all know what baggers are. Perhaps you would explain what a bagger is for us, Dan. A bagger um, is basically Harley Davidson with bags. Oh. So that's that's what a, a bagger is classed. Yeah, for. I knew that. But some of my viewers <laughs> might not have known. Um, in, in America, there, there is a trend for uh, these types of bikes, which are known as big wheel baggers, um, which you customise. But they, is... uh, they, a lot of them are a lot bigger wheels than this. This is a, a relatively small wheel, big wheel bagger. Wow. Wow. What do you think of that, me? You don't look very impressed. Wow. Look at that. I'll tell you what. It's beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful. Dan, you built this bike yourself, didn't you? I did, John, yeah. yeah. Entirely entirely on your own? Yeah, this, wow. was, um, this was kind of a lockdown build for me. I started it prior to lockdown and then it went into lockdown. Oh yeah, you were, you were, you were, you were into all that, aren't you? Lockdowns and that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I, I stayed home and behaved myself as a as I was told. Hey, don't I like that? There's all sort of glitter in the paint. There is. It's there's gold a, glitter. There's metal flake ah. in the paint. Uh, there's orange, orange metal flake in the orange. Oh, um, I see. What red and red in the red, and in the white pearl, there's iridescent. So it's kind of rainbow colours. All oh, right, yeah. See, my artist's eye, I can see, um, I can see green specks as well. I don't know why that is. That's probably your just old vision, John, I expect. <laughs> yeah. Um, Dan, I hope you don't mind me asking, but... How much is this bike worth? <laughs> OK. Well, I, su I suppose the answer to that is it's worth as much as somebody is prepared to pay. 
Well, um, no, but you must know how much it cost you to make. I, uh, well, if I... I I'm, I'm sorry to be the person. That's OK. If, if, including the paint and the registration plate on the back. Yeah. Um, and all of the parts. It is just over, and I'm slightly embarrassed to say this. Go on then. It's just over forty-seven thousand pounds. Fucking hell, Dad. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Million-dollar bogan couldn't afford this bike. No, I don't expect it could, John. There's not a lot of people that could. Yeah. I actually had it up for sale not long ago. I hope Million Dollar Bogan doesn't watch this because he's a personal friend of mine, you know. Oh, I know, I know. I've seen he's left you comments on your video saying yeah. that you're a legend. Yeah, no, that was on Facebook he said that. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah we're, we're good friends, me and, me and Danny. Well, it'd be nice, actually, if Million Dollar Bogan actually came over, wouldn't it? Well, do think, yeah. Do you think he'd come over from Tasmania? I think he would. I think he'd probably enjoy Britain, wouldn't he? Or the other thing, John, is we could go to Tasmania. And, and um, I went to Tasmania last year or the year before. Do you know what they're like during the lockdowns? They've gone fucking mental over there. <laughs> I have. Have they? Yeah, they're locking everything down all the time. Oh. Well, we can wait until the COVID thing's done and maybe go over and see Million Dollar Bogan. What's his name? Danny? Danny Hayes. Danny, yeah. Yeah. So we'll pop over and see Danny. But don't let him ride it, mate. No. He'll fucking drop it, I'll tell you. No, you. I've, I've seen his videos. He's, um... <laughs> <laughs> he, he has dropped a few, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah. But I love him. He's great. Yeah, he's, he's great. fantastic. He, he, I don't know why, but his videos, even when he's being serious, he sort a, a cheers good, me up. He has a good sense of humour about it, doesn't he? And he gets to ride some really nice bikes. Yeah, yeah. He also gets a bit pissed off sometimes at people. Yeah. Well, he's, he's, he shows his emotions. Exactly, yeah. yeah. He's human. Yeah. Well, that's... um. Tell me something about your bike, please, for my viewers. Okay, so it's uh, it was based on a... Oh, look, there's a cat going behind it, a big ginger cat, the same colour as your bike. <laughs> it kind of blends in. <laughs> Sorry. Um, All right. So the bike was based on a, on a 2015 uh, Harley-Davidson Street Glide. But there's pretty much only the frame of that engine left, uh, frame of that bike left, uh, and a fender. Um, so the engine in this, John, isn't the Harley-Davidson engine it came with, but it is a Harley-Davidson engine, and it's a, it's a crate engine, if you know what that means. Came in a crate? It did come in a crate. That's exactly why it's called a crate engine. Uh, uh, someone said something about, I don't know, someone said this is a drag? Well, it's a, it's, a, it's a drag or racing engine, yeah. Wow. So it... I mean, how fast does it go, then? <laughs> it's quite quick. <laughs> oh, you wouldn't be able to tell, of course. It's quite quick. It's got nearly... Uh, you know your police bike? Yeah. That has a 103 engine in it. Yeah. A 103 cubic inch engine in it. Well, this has a 120 cubic engine. You've always got to go one better, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, I have, yeah. Uh, 120. I'm, I'm, I'm making up for deficiencies elsewhere, John. Yeah. Oh, no, you're um, not. There's nothing wrong. But it's got... Because it's... A racing engine it's uh, got nearly twice the horsepower and torque of your police bike what is the horsepower of this bike it's gonna be I haven't had it dynoed but it's gonna be in the region of 120 to 125 brake horsepower and 117 to 125 pound foot of torque Wow so the engine I mean I can I can give you a little bit of a um, this is, might be boring to some of your viewers. Boring? Yeah, because... I don't think they'll find this bike boring. I'm oh, you're going into paper. I'm quite anal, so I made a, I made a build sheet. But the engine... Wow. So the engine cost uh, £6,200. <laughs> <laughs> and it has... Um, it's got big bore cylinders on it, obviously. It's got... Um, a special balanced Screaming Eagle, which we know because we're anal, is the Harley Davidson Sports or Performance Division. Yes. Uh, fly reel and uh, piston rod assembly, con rod assembly. It's got um, high compression nickel pistons with a Teflon skirt, no less. Uh, it's got titanium piston rings. It's got special high lift cam. It's got special push rods. It's got special uh, high performance push rod lifters. It's got a special, um, all the cylinder heads have been specially ported. 
and they have an automatic pressure release. Is the pressure release special as well? Yeah, it is. <laughs> you don't normally get a pressure release with standard Harley no. Davidsons. Um, it's got a, a, a pro high flow 58 millimeter throttle body with bigger injections and manifold clap. Uh, the rocker boxes have had to be uh, machined for bigger valve clearances. Um, it's got special oilers in it for um, the pistons. It's got uh, special bearings in it and a special crankcase in it. All in and, all, it's and quite a special it's, bike. It's quite special, yeah. Yeah. So that, that's the engine. The suspension on this, because you, I don't know, you, do you know this has got air ride on it? Oh, you did mention it, yeah. Oh, we forgot that. No, you did mention it. Okay, so. Oh, I'd like is, to see that not, go. So the front end, I'll do the front first, but. Tell so me the, what it is first. What, what, yeah. So the, 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 the front end is, these are, um, have you heard of a chap called Arlen Ness? Yeah, of course I have. Yeah. Right, so Arlen Ness, these are Arlen Ness forks. Yeah. Um, and fork gaiters. But inside, it's actually special, uh, special, hot, a more high performance damper system from Progressive. Well, that's are, special, mate. Yeah, yeah I'm going to, this is going to move on from the underwater hockey, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell your views about that underwater hockey one day. Right. After all your piss taking. Um, no, so it's got progressive internals in it. So progressive shock absorbers and springs in it that have been lowered by two inches. The wheel has gone from a 19 inch to a 21 inch. So although it's a bigger wheel, it actually sits um, one inch lower than standard on the front. Because with the bigger wheel, it's two inches bigger, but obviously you gain an inch at the bottom and an inch at the top. So by having two inches lower on the suspension, the front end is actually one inch lower than a standard bike, even though it's got a much bigger wheel. <laughs> Hello, Lee. How you doing all right? Yeah. Hello, all Lee. Right? Nice doing? to meet you. Thank oh, you. this is Dan. Sorry, Lee. Yeah. yeah. That's a nice bike, isn't it? Well, it's all right. <laughs> so the rear has air ride suspension and there's a compressor up underneath, um, which powers airbags on the back. Well, we've got to see that in and action. And there's a switch here that you can you can adjust the, the firmness of the suspension as you ride along. So if you're on a bumpy road, you can slacken the suspension off to make it more compliant. And if you're on a really smooth bit of road, you can firm it up. Right. But I think what most people like about the, uh, the air ride suspension is if I just sit on it, and it's when you let the air out. Whoa. <laughs> That's amazing. There we go. So there's the air out of the bags. And as a result of now doing that, the other thing that's on this bike is these panniers yeah. are stretched by four and a half inches over the standard pannier. Oh, yes. I can see now. And then... That underneath all this where the rear suspension is there's a bracket that automatically lowers the suspension by two inches and then with the air ride it drops four inches so when you compare this to a standard bike the bottom of my pannier is approximately nine and a half to ten inches lower nearly a foot lower than the standard street glide right oh hang on Is that my phone going down? Hang on a minute, I've got to go and get that. Yeah. Uh, oh, just talking about you. Million dollar bogan. Oh, is it? <laughs> Hello, Danny. Yeah. What? Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, we, yeah. No, I'm with the bike now. Yeah, you'll see it. I'm no, no, I'm, he won't let you. He, I, I did ask him, he said no, he said there's no way he's going to ride it. He'll drop it. <laughs> I did, I did say that. <laughs> no, Danny, no, he, no, sorry, mate, he won't, he, don't, he doesn't care how much money you've got, mate. You, anyway, you couldn't afford this bike. Yeah, 
about 100 grand's worth. Yeah. What? Wait, that would sell two houses, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Who is it? Parry? David Parry? Yeah, I'll talk to him. Yeah. Hello, David. How are you doing? Yeah, you still looking after Danny Hayes, are you? Yeah. What? You'd like to ride it? This what? This bagger? Yeah. Oh yeah, you can ride it, mate. Yeah, no trouble. Yeah. You're a good rider. Yeah. Yeah. What? No, put put Danny back on, will ya? What? Oh. Okay. All right. I'll talk to you later. See you, Dave. Bye. I can't but Danny, Danny fucked up, he got pissed off. <laughs> I can't believe I can't believe he rung up when we're doing the film, John. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. He's typical of him though. Yeah. He likes to keep in touch with his legends. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Well I'm, i I know you told him a few times about the bike, so yeah. And we were doing the video today. Yeah, he it's amazing that he would ring up like that. Was he ringing up to find out how the video was going? Was he all just... He did... wanted to... Well, he's saying, am I making... Because I'd mentioned that you might be coming out. I, he said, am I making the video? Uh, anyway. Well, if he didn't... You know, I don't mind him riding it, but I've seen him drop too many bikes. So, <laughs> you know, I'm a bit nervous about it. If he... Did, if he... If he could show me that he could ride bikes without keep dropping them I'd let him have a go no that's not going to happen Dan that just ain't going to happen no, he's, he's adventurous you see he's very adventurous well, he's going to yeah. have to take a pass from it then yeah and he's a million dollar bloke so you know well he can gonna... buy it first and it is for sale John yeah I don't even he could fold it mate could he well if he's got a million dollars he could <laughs> <laughs> yeah I don't know if she'll bring it back, Dan. She'll probably... She does sometimes, and other times she doesn't. Yeah, but she won't bring it back for you to throw again. No. She'll chew it. She'll just sit and have a chew, won't she? Yeah. Come on, then. No, no, that's it. It's too hot, Mia, isn't it? Too hot for that malarkey.
first time. He's gone. <laughs> and this is as fast as I can go, because otherwise I'll get blown off.
am I doing? I didn't want to park too close to that. That's okay. <laughs> I, mean, I trust you. I couldn't even reverse right. I do trust you, John. After me. First time I've been here. It's on, Dan. Sometimes it stalls, Dan, because of the um, the side stand. And you mate, lovely to see you. See you again. Go on. <laughs> I got that on camera. I got that on camera. Dan. waves to other bikers for a sort of a side way well, I just nod my head I think the uh, that sort of way with your hand down is uh, kind of an American thing isn't it See the sea. 
scenery, but I don't think you can. Maybe you can. Beautiful. Beautiful English countryside. We're heading down towards Arundel in a minute. selection then can't be perfect all the time
yeah thanks for watching everyone see you later ah we're back Mia glad to see how excited you are to see us <laughs> Thanks, Dan. I really enjoyed that ride I up there. Too, John. It was good. It wasn't really my my scene, but I did enjoy it. I should do it again, definitely. You surprised yourself, didn't you? I did, yeah. It was really and nice. You, you actually knew some people up there as well. Yeah, I you? met some old friends. Yeah, <laughs> wonderful. Anyway, Dan, we're running out of uh, juice on this. So uh, I'll say goodbye, and uh, there'll be a part two to this, hopefully, about the... Uh, what's his name? It, it, a street glide. The street glide. The 120 Bagger. Street Glide. Yeah. Yeah, thanks very much, Dan. Say oh, goodbye. Goodbye. Bye, everyone.